Dear child of God, the Lord wants you to know that he will not leave you. He will not leave you until he has done everything he spoke to you about. This is everything I've spoken to you about, I will do them. The Lord has assured Abraham and the Lord is assuring you by this word today. He assured Jacob and then he's assuring you of this word today. He had assured Joshua and so he's assuring you of this word today. He made Esther know that everything will be settled and is assuring you also with this word today. He strengthened Deborah with this same word and is going to strengthen you today with this word. Dear child of God, it is time that you see everything that the Lord has spoken about happen for you. He says, for I will not leave thee, Genesis 28 verse 15, until I have done that which I have spoken to thee of. Dear child of God, the Lord said it and has settled it. I want you to know today, it doesn't matter who is raising their voice against you. It doesn't matter who is speaking against you. It doesn't matter who is in opposition to what the Lord has said. Their voice, their words, their claims cannot override the claims and the words of God. The Lord wants you to know today that heaven and earth may pass away, but his word will not pass away. What has the Lord told you? Dear child of God, what has the Lord told you that you had allowed to slip from you? The Lord wants you to hold on to that word again. Hold them very strong. Yes, keep them. Write them at the tablet of your heart because he would do them. He said he will not leave you until they are done. Dear child of God, I want you to know without a doubt, the Lord God of heaven will not leave you until the things he has spoken to you about it is done. Dear child of God, he told you, he showed you how he's going to settle you. He showed you how he's going to bring your spouse. Dear child of God, he showed you how he's going to settle you in your work, in your ministry. He showed you how he's going to make your life relevant. He showed you how he's going to restore your health. He showed you how he's going to turn your story around. The Lord showed you how he's going to cause you to be announced. The Lord showed you how he's going to reunite you in your home. The Lord showed you how is going to turn your story around? The Lord showed you. How is going to bring you out of that captivity? The Lord showed you. How is going to change that situation of your life? The Lord showed you and told you exactly how is going to redeem you and make sure you are out of that captivity. The Lord told you that He will rescue you. The Lord told you that you will be redeemed. Dear child of God, then why are you doubting it? If the Lord had said it, then nothing can ever change it. He said his word will not fall to the ground until they do everything that he had commanded. This is the word of God. He said it will not return back void or empty until they do the purposes at which they were sent to do. Dear child of God, the word of God, everything is said will become manifested in the name of Jesus. They will become tangible. Today, I want you to know that the words will begin to form. The words will begin to become life. The words will begin to become real to you in the mighty name of Jesus. In the beginning, the word was with God. The word was God and then it was made flesh and dwelt amongst them. Dear child of God, you will see the word of God become visible in your life right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. The things that God had expressed to you, yes, the things He sent to your heart. You know the message you received from Him. You got them. You embraced those messages and you took them right into your heart. The Lord will make them tangible. You will see them. You will live in them. You will testify of them in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, this time is not the time to gather pity party. It is the time to arise and enforce the word of God. It is time to say, Lord, you said it and nothing can stop it. If you said it, then that is settled. I agree with it. I believe upon what you have said and I know that it will come to pass. It may look as though I'm going to trials right now. You see, Joseph went to trials. The scriptures recorded that the word tried him. But what happened? He stood because he knew what God told him. God had made it known to him that I was going to make you a ruler. I'm going to make you significant. The Lord told him, have something I am planning with your life. And when it is done, you'll be at the higher pedestal. The Lord told him, I'm going to settle you in a great way. And so the word tried him, but he remained 
holding on to the world. Yes, he was in prison. He was lied upon. Things were not going as he had planned. But he held on to the world until the world was manifested. Dear child of God, you may not be looking like what the world said about you. But do not worry. The word of God is true and nothing can change it. The word of God is perfect and nothing can change it. Yes, we cannot do anything against the truth. Paul said, but for the truth, we cannot do anything against what the Lord God has said. And what is said to you and what is said about you, they are through and they will come to pass. Dear child of God, it is time to stand your ground and say, God, I believe your word. I believe everything you said that you will do. You have told me that you will be with me. You said you will be with me everywhere I go. All the places that you bring me to, you said you will be with me right there before you confirm to me that you will not leave me until everything you have spoken have happened. Dear child of God, I believe your word. That everything you said would happen. I am anxious and I'm eager to see them happen. Dear child of God, I want to assure you they would happen. They would happen. They would happen. Your eyes will see them. Your mouth will testify of them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, hold on to the word of God. Heaven and earth may pass. Everything else may fail. Everything else may not be working, but this will work. I want to assure you, dear child of God, this would work. Tell yourself this would work. Repeat it over and over again that this would happen. This would be made manifest in my life. I will speak about them. I will see them and everything will come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. Remember Abraham. He began to call things that be not as though they were. He began to prophesy these things. He began to say the words of God, what God had told him. He called them forth and they came into existence. Remember God in heaven. He called things from nothing and they became something. Dear child of God, those words that God said to you are something. Hold on to them. Say them every day. Speak them every day until they become tangible. Speak them into existence. If the Lord said, I'm going to heal you, I'm going to restore health speedily unto you, I'm going to cause you to walk again, I'm going to cause you to see again, I'm going to cause you to hear perfectly again, I'm going to cause you to experience that joy that you are supposed to experience. Believe it. Call those things as though they were. Call them as though they were. Assign things to them. Yes. Begin to relate with them personally in your life. And I want to assure you, you will see them. You will see them. Call them the name that they deserve. Call those things the name that they want. And I want to assure you, they would become what you have called them to be. He said, Behold, I am with thee. He says, I will keep you in all the places whither thou goest. He says, I will bring thee again into this land. For I will not leave thee until I have done that which I have spoken to thee of. Dear child of God, don't let go. Do not let go of everything that God spoke to you. Do not let go of everything that God said to you. Do not let them sleep from you. Do not allow somebody else take up that word and run with it. It is yours. Run with it. It is yours. Run with it. It is yours, dear child of God run with it because the lord that knows how to settle oh my god the lord that knows how to make every life beautiful the lord that knows how to bring his word to pass will bring his word to pass in your life in the mighty name of jesus i want this to get you excited believing on the word of god for so shall it be you will have a good life i speak words over your life today you would have a beautiful life dear child of god you will live in the kind of life that you have spoken of, that the Lord has spoken of concerning your life in the mighty name of Jesus. He said he had made you the head and so it shall be. Yes, you may be down right now, you may be below right now, but do not worry, you are the head and everything will materialize in no time. Hold on to the word. He said he will not leave you until everything you have spoken of comes to pass. So remind yourself every day, Yes, I may not see it happening, but I'm going to tarry. I'm going to wait there. Yes, he said it is for an appointed time, and so it will come. At the time that Abraham was giving this word, nothing was happening, but he began to call them forth as though they were. At the time Job received his word, nothing was happening, but he stayed on to the word of God, and then it happened. By the time God said he was going to settle Isaac, nothing was happening. He stayed on it. As a matter of fact, Isaac was fought against. 
Isaac had oppositions, but he stayed. He remained. When everybody was leaving the land because nothing was happening, he stayed back there. God told him, stay in this land. I'm going to bless you in this land. Everybody else was leaving, but he stayed. What happened? At the end of the day, God made sure. He blessed him so much that the entire nation would come to beg him, please be in partnership with us because you have become greater than us. Imagine the king and the old cabinet coming to a man saying you have become greater than us. As a nation, you have become greater than us. That is the dimension God will take you to. Just do what he says and hold on to his word. I want to assure you that word shall be made manifest in your life. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 21 says, Go up and take your possession. Yes, it says go up and take possession of it as the Lord had given them unto you. Dear child of God, it is time you see what is yours and go grab it. Dear child of God, you know what your possessions are. When you see what belongs to you, you would know it. Dear child of God, your name is written on it. And God is saying, I've handed it over to you. Go take it. It is yours. The word of God says, see the Lord your God has placed the land before you. Dear child of God, it says, the Lord had placed it before you. It's right before you. Dear child of God, she is right before you. It's time you possess your possession. It's right before you. Yes, you have been so nice. You have been so kind. And the Lord is telling you, this is your possession. You have been waiting for the right time. He's saying to you, this is the right time. Say the word because I'm backing it up. It is time to possess your possession. You deserve a good life, dear child of God. You deserve the blessings of God. You deserve to have comfort on the face of the earth. Dear child of God, you are not meant to be suffering. Dear child of God, it is not your lot to be in pain. It is not your lot to be suffering. It is not in the plans of God. He said, I know the plans I have for you. There was some plan to give you a good life, to give you a wonderful future. He said to bring you to an expected end. That is the expectations you have. He said you would end right at that point. What are your expectations? Are there some things you have been envisaging? Dear child of God, are there some things you have been believing in God for? Are there some things you are looking towards? The Lord is saying to you, I place them before you. I place them in your heart. I made you to think about them. I caused you to have those thoughts because there was something I wanted you to possess. He says, go up take possession of it dear child of god what is it you want it is time to take possession of it you have the legal grounds to go out there and let your heart know dear child of god the lord is saying don't let this pass you by because it is time it is time it is time to get everything that you want god is saying to you i've been saying these words to you and i'm repeating it for the last time it is time to go get what is yours to go take your possession dear child of god some things may have been taken away from you yes they came by falsehood to take it from you god is saying they were your possession it is time i'm going to back you up all the legal backings that you need all the spiritual backings that you need all the spiritual help and assistance that you need i'll make sure i grant them unto you i'll give you the voice the wisdom that they will not be able to resist or gain say I will defend you and you will get what are yours. Everything that are your possessions, you will get. And so, dear child of God, the Lord wants you to know today that it is time to possess your possession. So what are those possessions to you? What are those things that you know you deserve in your life but you have not gotten them? The Lord is saying to you today, I will make a way. I will create platforms, channels. I would bring understanding your way that will cause these things to be yours. I will teach you what to do. I will tell you what to say. I will give you directions. I will tell you how to go about it. Yes, it may look very simple, but as you do them, you will discover the attractions you need to gain. You will begin to gain them. Dear child of God, the heart that is supposed to be opened unto you will be opened up unto you. They have been shut for a long time, and that is because you did not make up your mind to possess your possession. You did not determine within yourself that this is what I want. And by the help of God, by the grace of God backing me up, I'm going to get them. And so God is reminding you, it is time to go possess what is yours. You see, Caleb was very confident. And he said, that give me this land, I will possess it. He was confident. And so it was. 
he possessed it. He was confident within himself that if the Lord would strengthen him, he knew he would go out there to take what was his, and he got what was rightfully his. Dear child of God, it's time to get your rightful possession. It is time to get everything that are yours, everything that will cause you to enjoy your life. It is time to get them. And dear child of God, you have no reason to explain to anyone about it. Go out there and do what is right and get what is yours. You have no reason to apologize to anyone. It is yours. It is your possession. And you go get your possession. They took over your home. They took over your marriage. They took over your life. They even took over your children. But they are yours. They are your possession. And the Lord is saying to you, I will direct you. I will guide you. I will cause everything to work in your favor. Yes, you may have made some errors that caused these things to almost slip from you or that made them to slip from you. But today, I would make sure I would reorchestrate things. I would make sure I would rearrange things. I would make sure I would make things much more fitting and comfortable for you. He's saying to you, I placed it before you. Possess your possession. Are there some things you are pursuing? Dear child of God, all the things you need to get them. You will get them in the mighty name of Jesus. All those that would assist you, dear child of God, they will come rallying round around you to assist you in the mighty name of Jesus. And until you get everything that you want, they will not stop. People will come right behind you to hold you, to uphold you until you get what is rightfully yours. Dear child of God, you have not lost. Yes, you have not lost it all. It seems as though you have lost a lot already before now. But I want you to know that everything shall be recovered in Jesus' name. Just make up your mind that I'm going there to possess my possession. You see, when David had lost everything, he had lost his possessions, his family, he had lost his goods, everything. The people around him had lost everything. And then he inquired of God. He received strength from God. When everybody was discouraged, when everybody were distressed, he received strength from the Lord. And the Lord told him, go, you will possess. He said, you will recover all. And so it was. He went out there and then he recovered all. Dear child of God, he inquired of God. And I know you have inquired of God. You have asked the Lord, is it the path I should take? Is this what you want me to do? Is it the people you have sent to my life? And the Lord gave you a confirmation. He told you these things. He said to you, go on this path. Possess your possession. He said to you, this is how I have settled you. But some things kept them from you. Today, you shall recover all. That moment, David arose. He stood up. He went there. And then he possessed. The scriptures recorded that he recovered all. All. None was lost. Even more. He took more spoils back than before. Dear child of God, God has settled you. Do not keep yourself back. God has opened up your blessings. Do not keep yourself back. You see, see, the Lord your God has placed the land before you. So what are those things before you? What are those things you have been looking at God, seeking the face of the Lord, saying, these are the things I want in my life. The Lord is saying to you, I place them before you. This is what you should do. This is how you should do them. And they would be yours. Dear child of God, receive strength today. Be motivated. Tell yourself, I will not be down. I will not stop until I get it. Yes, I will not stop until this is mine. I will not stop until this has my name written on them. And I want to assure you without fail, without a doubt, you will see it happen in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord that knows how to do wonders. The Lord that knows how to settle every life. The Lord that knows how to reorchestrate destiny will do that for you in the mighty name. Of Jesus Christ. You will have reasons to rejoice. I want to assure you, dear child of God, you will possess all that are yours. You will take your possession, your rightful possession, your portion in the land, you will take in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What the Lord had rightfully assigned with your name on it, dear child of God, I want to assure you, by the help of God, by the help of the Holy Ghost, by the assistance of the angels, I want to assure you, you will get them. Nothing will stop you from getting them. Just do not be afraid. When he said, go possess your possession, go take everything I've laid before you, then he said to him, do not be afraid or discouraged. 
Dear child of God, please do not be afraid. Yes, it may look too big for you. It may look like it's something you cannot conquer. But go out there and say, this is mine. This is my possession and I will get it. It says, do not be discouraged. Dear child of God, you may have been denied in the past. You may have been turned down in the past. But it says, do not be discouraged. Go again. Go again because it is yours. Yes, I've softened your heart. It is yours. I've made sure everything is going to work for your favor. They are yours. I've made sure everything will work in line for your good. They are yours. Just do what I tell you to do. And I want to assure you, dear child of God, everything, every single thing will work in your favor. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will rejoice at the end of the day. You will come testifying of the Lord's goodness. You will say, now the Lord has brought me into my rest and has caused me to possess my possession. That will be your testimony. Hold on to this word because so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. You'll be amazed. You'll be amazed. Dear child of God, you'll be amazed. You will sing, oh God, I'm amazed how you did it. So shall be your testimony in Jesus' mighty name. I call it done. It is settled. Nothing will stop it from happening. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you and shalom.